Yeah. Oh yeah, so the utility is a great way um, to add a fade. Um, the thing is that if you want to automate volume on uh, any track, it's not a good idea to do it with the actual bot by automating the volume fader, and I'll, I'll show you why. Let's say that I wanted to um, bring in a particular sound, like let's say I wanted to bring in um, uh, this sound, right? This piano sound. So let's say that I wanted to bring that in. Uh, and if I if I went to um, what track was that um, seven? Um, so if I go to seven and I and I go and I go, what if I automate that? Oh, show automation. There it is. And now I go. You know bring it in and you can see it kind of go up automated the trouble is once you get to the mixing stage and you're kind of balancing everything out once I touch this the automation is gonna be lost so you never want to automate the actual volume fader the way that you want to do do a fader is by adding a utility tool which is um, a, an audio effect and putting that utility tool on there and you want to automate the gain so if you automate the gain oh, oops. Where's my gain? there we go So now the gain is going up and the track is fading in. going up at volume but what I can do is I can still change this in relation to every other track when I'm mixing it so if, if overall it's too loud or too soft I can bring it down and it's not going to override the automation of the volume fade. 343 Labs is an electronic music school and community in downtown Manhattan. We offer courses for all levels of learning electronic music production with course topics including Ableton Live, Logic, Synthesis for Music Producers, Songwriting and Music Theory, and more. To learn more about 343 Labs, head to 343labs.com. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tutorials with our instructors, master classes, and content from our electronic music community.